Happy Sunday and welcome into Allen University Athletics. I'm your host, Jasha Cox. Big show for you today. We're going to talk with head men's and women's basketball coaches, of course, and we'll also tell you about our annual UNCF gala that is set for uh, February 10th. Let you talk with the VP of Institutional Advancement. Back with more. you've been searching for achievements authenticity and experience that helps to uncover the real you it's your turn to be discovered to be polished to shine allen university where hidden gems are revealed at founders federal credit union we know success is a team effort we're always cheering for you, side by side, so you can dream big and achieve your goals. Offering products and services that put you in the lead, whether that's helping you buy a car, build your savings, or supporting your community. We're here with the financial support you need. That's teamwork. Score big with Founders Federal Credit Union. Relax with Founders. Welcome back out to campus of Allen University here in Columbia, South Carolina, and now joined with Allen University head men's basketball coach, Keith Walker. Coach, uh, had a couple of get away from you last week, and we'll go back to almost a week ago uh, with Benedict. Uh, I guess one of the positive is th the crowd that you had, you had a chance to play in front of. Yeah, they uh, very, very supportive, and uh, the players really enjoyed uh, playing in that type of atmosphere. Uh, you know, as I said, uh, you know, we progressively making strides and, and headed in the right direction. And although we played, uh, you know, Benedict, Benedict pretty tough, we uh, ended up a little short. Yeah. Uh, some positive takeaways from that contest. It appears as if you guys got off to a really good start. Competitive, very, very, very competitive first half. Yeah, we uh, uh, adhered to our game plan. Uh, we knew uh, what Benedict was about as far as their personnel, you know, I uh, think they're the number one team in our division uh, leading in that area. So we tried to do some things to uh, slow them down in, in certain areas and uh, it was effective. Uh, but, uh, you know, we just have to do a better job of closing games out. What are, what are takeaways from contests like this, ones that you, you've got right in reach and, and for whatever reason you're just unable to, to, to pull away with, with a victory? What are the takeaways with contests like that, especially during this time of the year? Right. Uh, you know, at this time, you know, you want to uh, try to position yourself as best you can as far as the tournament play is concerned. And uh, uh, with our guys uh, being, uh, you know, relatively the new group, uh, we have to do a better job of learning how to close games out and finishing them at the end. I think, uh, you know, especially when you're uh, using the Benedict game as an example, I think for the majority part of the game, we were leading, especially early in the first half. But 
uh, when things start getting tight, then uh, you know we uh, just have to have a little more pause and close games out. You referenced the SIAC tournament, and that is correct this year. The difference between Allen University and its provisional NCAA phase. A year ago, we weren't eligible for postseason play at all. Uh, fast forward to after getting through year one, now we're in year two, provisional year two, um, which means now Allen is eligible for postseason play within the conference, not NCAA standards. Uh, right. So there is something to play for, and I, and I heard you talk about positioning yourself and yourselves for uh, quality seating in the tournament or the best seating you can possibly right. get. Like I tell our guys, uh, you know, all the games that we played, uh, you know, Benedict being number one, uh, we played, uh, you know, Savannah State was there at the tops, you know, the Lamont on and, uh, you know, Miles, those guys. Uh, we've been in every one of those games. Uh, very, very competitive, we've been in every one. Uh, but we just have to, uh, you know, stop making those crucial mistakes with, uh, you know, three, four minutes left in the game. Uh, we just can't afford, uh, you know, uh, mistakes. So we have to learn how to play uh, uh, mistake-free, especially in the, in the last three or four minutes of the game to, to close it out. And we're getting there, you know, uh, as I said, in the last game we played, uh, it's Edward Waters, uh, you know, we played well as a unit. Mm -hmm. But, you know, toward the end of the game, I think we ended up with, uh, you know, maybe four or five turnovers, you know, the last uh, few minutes. And that's all, of, you know, the separation, of, you know, your, your opponent will need in, at that period of time. Let's take a quick break. We'll talk and come back with more. This is brought to you by the Columbia Metropolitan Airport. At Allen, discover the things you've been searching for. Achievements, authenticity, and experience that helps to uncover the real you. It's your turn to be discovered, to be polished, to shine. Allen University, where hidden gems are revealed. At Founders Federal Credit Union, we know success is a team effort. We're always cheering for you, side by side, so you can dream big and achieve your goals. Offering products and services that put you in the lead, whether that's helping you buy a car, build your savings, or supporting your community. We're here with the financial support you need. That's teamwork. Score big with Founders Federal Credit Union. Relax with Founders. So immediately uh, you had to turn around and shift your focus after uh, the defeat against um, Benedict and prepare for a road trip to Savannah State, um, which again, in my opinion, I, the score doesn't really indicate how competitive the game was out in Savannah. Right, and that was uh, you know another one of those games where uh, you know I think it was uh, we sort of lapsed a little bit. Yeah. Uh, we didn't play uh, as well as we as we have been the past three or four games. Uh, but once we uh, got uh, uh, over that bumpy start, uh, then we, uh, you know, we played, uh, uh, you know, to our abilities. But, you know, after you dig a hole for yourself that way, then, uh, you know, you, you, you spend a lot of time trying to get yourself out of it. Yeah, and, and so not a whole lot of time to fester on that one because, again, you'll quickly see them again. Uh, you, right. you, you've got them coming up on Monday, as a matter of fact, tomorrow. So. Uh, Think about, it, it, at this point, the film that's out there on each other is a copycat league. I guess you've seen everything you need to see on every opponent at this right. point. Yeah, and our guys understand that. And, uh, but, uh, you know, they go over uh, the mistakes when we have discussions and talks and film sessions. Uh, we go over the mistakes and, uh, you know, and those are the small detailed things that we have to correct. Yeah. And I think that'll help push us over the edge because uh, you know, at this point we're playing, and I think the guys are playing well as a unit. 
but we still have to, to learn to close those games out and play mistake-free toward the end. In your career and your experiences, have you witnessed an, an advantage or a disadvantage to playing a team uh, such in close proximity? Actually, it, it can be an advantage, I think, uh, uh, you know, once you see a team and, uh, and, and, and you play them and then turn around and play them again, then, uh, you know, you have a, a, a better idea. And because it's the very next game that we play, yeah. the guys have a better idea of, uh, of how to approach it. Yeah. So, Coach, in order to, to come out on top in a game like this, again, we're, we're hoping for a big crowd here on Monday uh, when you play host to Savannah State. But what is it going to take for your squad to come out uh, on top of that matchup? Well, we're going to have to come out. Uh, hopefully, we, we won't come out as cold as we did when we first uh, went down there. I think, uh, you know, when we first, uh, the first part of the game, I think we was like maybe 0 for 11, yeah. 0 for 9, 0 for 11. And that got us in a hole. So I think that uh, hopefully we can be more consistent with making shots, uh, you know, early in the game to get us off to a decent start. He's Coach Walk. I'm Jasha Cox. Let's take a quick break and we'll be back with more. At Allen, discover the things you've been searching for. Achievements, authenticity, and experience that helps to uncover the real you. It's your turn to be discovered, to be polished, to shine. Allen University, where hidden gems are revealed. At Founders Federal Credit Union, we know success is a team effort. We're always cheering for you, side by side, so you can dream big and achieve your goals. Offering products and services that put you in the lead, whether that's helping you buy a car, build your savings, or supporting your community. We're here with the financial support you need. That's teamwork. Score big with Founders Federal Credit Union. Relax with Founders. Now joined by head women's basketball coach Takara Tolan. Coach, it's been a somewhat of a seesaw affair, I guess, in re recent events, but I'm just going to start off with I asked Coach Walker the same thing. What about that crowd almost a week <laughs> ago against Benedict? Wasn't that amazing? It was amazing. I would actually love to play in that environment like every single home game. Not There's a message to, to, to the folks that are listening. <laughs> Say that one more time. We would love that <laughs> to have that type of crowd every game. Yeah. Yeah. And so. Uh, you could you could feel the energy, and it, and it makes it a lot easier when the school you're playing. The uh, only thing that separates you is a turning lane, right. uh, so they literally were able to walk across. But you could feel the energy and the buzz getting going through and warm up, and you knew you were you were uh, you were headed into a, for an exciting affair. Right, right. And uh, the young ladies, they were honestly a little anxious about it, and yeah. I think uh, we were hoping at some point that the nerves would settle, but yeah. for some of them, it never did. Yeah. Well. Um, 
we're going to talk about some positive takeaways from that game because there was a one point where it looked like Benedict was probably starting to pull away. Mm -hmm. And then before you knew it, you looked up and it was a back and forth affair, mm -hmm. one that you had just in reach. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Uh, one of the things that I like about my team is that we do have fight. Um, there's been several times within the season already that we've been down by double digits and have been able to close it out within halftime or third quarter. Um, it's just about having the energy to sustain it, you know, but yeah. um, the fight is definitely there. That's one of the things I've noticed too, your squads, they typically have spurt ability as Clark Kellogg will say. At some point, you know a spurt is going, how long it'll last. Of course, you never know those things, but uh, what does that say about your teams? Um, I think it say that we have the, win, the will to win. Um, usually when I look at the box score, it's only one quarter that hurts us. Mm. So we're, we're right there. We just got to keep working. And uh, I think I got to do a better job of understanding when I need to sub some people out and get some people in with fresh legs. Yeah. Uh, what is helping you come to that determination and, and see that, hey, maybe we need to tweak some things lineup wise? Um, just, just statistically. Um, like I said, we're looking at the box scores and we're losing usually like one quarter. And then there's some, some times in the game where we don't want to go fast. Yeah. But uh, we have the same group in there that can't slow down. Yeah. And so yeah. those are some things we're starting to notice about our team. So when you go back and you notice there's usually one quarter in there where, where uh, you probably weren't efficient, is it due to turnovers? Is, is it just simply making shots or what is it? Um, I think it's more so just being disciplined. Yeah. Um, like I said, we our stronger group is, is, is more of a transition team, and there are some points in the game where we need to slow it down and execute some offenses, but we only know one speed. And so uh, it, it does lead to turnovers. Most of our turnovers seem to be dead balls, so it doesn't hurt us as much. But um, taking a shot when multiple people haven't touched the ball or you know, yeah. just not having rebounders in position, those type of things. and. I think uh, we noticed that we might have a turnover. We we might take a quick shot, and we're we're only getting good opportunities to score like one on every four possessions, and that's hurting us. We'll I'm take a quick break, and when we come back, we're going to get into some of these opponents. Back with more. At Allen, discover the things you've been searching for: achievements, authenticity. An experience that helps to uncover the real you. It's your turn to be discovered, to be polished, to shine. Allen University, where hidden gems are revealed. At Founders Federal Credit Union, we know success is a team effort. We're always cheering for you, side by side, so you can dream big and achieve your goals. Offering products and services that put you in the lead, whether that's helping you buy a car, build your savings, or supporting your community. We're here with the financial support you need. That's teamwork. Score big with Founders Federal Credit Union. Relax with Founders.
All right, Coach, now you turn around and uh, you, you shift your attention to a team that you just played here tomorrow uh, in Edward Waters. Uh, we, we like to call it the AME Classic in football, and, and it is a rival because of its affiliation. Uh, your thoughts on the last, out, uh, the, last, the last outcome with Edward Waters, and what do you look to change when you play host to them tomorrow? Well, one of the things I can definitely say is we watched a uh, film on Edward Waters and we saw how quick they were, but we had no idea until we was actually in the fire. Yeah. Um, very well coached. They run their offenses to a T, and I think for us, we got caught ball watching quite a few times. We weren't used to having to go off three and four different screens, and, and teams being disciplined to actually execute their offenses to the final play. So uh, we'll be more prepared for that when we see them again. You pose it as an advantage or a disadvantage when you have such a quick turnaround when you've seen an opponent and you turn around and you play um, almost in real time again? Um, actually, I'm, I'm excited about having the opportunity to play them right again while it's fresh on our mind. Mm -hmm. um, whenever sometimes something stings you, you know you want to get right back at it, and I don't right. want to wait to have yeah. to uh, clean up what we did wrong. Very well. She's the car tolling. I'm Joshua Cox. We'll be back with more. At Allen, discover the things you've been searching for. Achievements, authenticity, and experience that helps to uncover the real you. It's your turn to be discovered, to be polished, to shine. Allen University, where hidden gems are revealed. At Founders Federal Credit Union, we know success is a team effort. We're always cheering for you, side by side, so you can dream big and achieve your goals. Offering products and services that put you in the lead, whether that's helping you buy a car, build your savings, or supporting your community. We're here with the financial support you need. That's teamwork. Score big with Founders Federal Credit Union. Relax with Founders. Back out on the historical campus of Allen University. I'm Joshua Cox and now joined by a special guest because we've got a big special event coming up uh, next month. And uh, it's our annual UNCF Gala. And I'm joined by Mr. Dub Taylor. He's our vice president of institutional advancement. Uh, Dub, I guess this is the time of the year where you kiss your family on the head and say, hey, I'll see you after February. It's, it, it is. It yeah. is. But it's a blessing. Yeah. And, and we're in the business to serve. Uh, the students that we have here. This UNCF Gala is yeah. our flagship fundraiser for the year. And under the direction of our president, Dr. McNeely, who provides the vision, um, his vision is to have this event assist our students with scholarships mm -hmm. and to make it a smooth transition while they're here at our institution. Yeah, you know, you, if, you, if you've never attended the Gala, you're missing out first and foremost. But once you get there, they're usually you'll see a handful of testimonials of students who reap the benefit mm -hmm. uh, from these scholarships and these needs. And it is eye opening when you watch it, especially considering where some of the kids come from and the things that they've been through. So it, it really is advantageous when you witness and see that piece. Absolutely. You know, the, our tagline at the institution at Allen University is a place that all that can be imagined can be achieved. But this also is a business. Mm -hmm. and you gotta have the resources and you gotta have the financial uh, resources to, to make it to the end. Yeah. And having fundraisers like this UNCF Gala just allows the institution to keep these students here yeah. and to fulfill their dream. Let's go up under the hood a little bit and talk about what it takes to put on an event like this. I know people like myself, you know, I just show up, I see the nice shiny uh, tablecloths, we'll hit the music, we'll dance to the Allen University Jazz Band, but you really don't know what goes into this process. Walk us through those steps, basically, from, from start to finish. Again, it's a daunting task. Yeah. Uh, as I said before, the president provides, you know, how he envisions an uh, event to go, mm -hmm. and, uh, and he allowed people like myself to execute it. Yeah. You know, it's a lot of planning. Uh, it's part of our strategic plan. It's a lot of behind the scene from uh, advertising and from uh, marketing, finding out uh, uh, who is the right guest, what's the pulse of the crowd. Yeah. Uh, so it is a lot of work and something that we take pride in is attention to detail. Yeah. And as you said uh, briefly uh, a moment ago, 
our last two or three galas that we have had have sold out a week, a week and a half prior to the That's date. Good. That's and right. we are right up against uh, it this year. We only have uh, limited tickets left and the event is February the 10th. So uh, this event will probably be sold out in the next five to seven days. That's awesome, that's awesome. And it takes place at the Civic Center, correct? It's at the uh, Columbia uh, Convention uh, Center. Uh, that's February the 10th. Uh, doors open at six. We'll have a uh, reception mm -hmm. from six to seven, and the gala will start at seven o'clock uh, sharp. Uh, so for the individual, the group, or the business, or organization that really wants to attend, but uh, may not be able to attend for whatever reason, but wants to give, how can they do that? Absolutely. The, uh, the individual tickets are $200 a ticket, and a tables are $2,000 for a table. Sponsorship levels start at $5,000 and, and go up. Uh, and if you cannot attend and want to give, just go onto our website, uh, www.allenuniversity.edu and click on Donate to Give under the UNCF uh, banner that we have, and you can just give directly to um, uh, the, the funds for that for the game. Yeah. This is Doug Taylor, VP of Institutional Advancement. Mr. Taylor, we appreciate your time. Thank you. Be back with more. At Founders Federal Credit Union, we know success is a team effort. We're always cheering for you, side by side, so you can dream big and achieve your goals, offering products and services that put you in the lead, whether that's helping you buy a car, build your savings, or supporting your community. We're here with the financial support you need. That's teamwork. Score big with Founders Federal Credit Union. Relax with Founders. I want to remind you that the annual UNCF Gala is slated for February 10th at the Columbia Civic Center. Of course, you can buy your tickets by visiting www.allenuniversity.edu. It's been a pleasure to have you with the Allen University Athletic Show. My time is up. Thank you for yours.